Before a game, there's always a plan. The formation, the tactics, the team. And one man has to make the final decision. Now, the pressure is intense, especially in a result-driven business. For Hagang United, the man in the hot seat is Nina Pacina. But before we start the season, we had a target like to remain the, the, the previous season uh, table position. That's means to be somewhere in the middle. That's mean six, seven, or eight. So we continue with this target for the second for the second round, and then above that, we are facing the cup, uh, Singapore Cup. We went through the quarterfinal. In the same time, we are playing the League Cup. So I know this is another competition where we are looking forward. So we will take our chance as well, because I think uh, Haugang did well in the previous years in the, in the Singapore Cup and League Cup as well. So this is our target for our season and hopefully we can, we can manage to play at least in the Singapore Cup final. In 2009, I came back to Singapore as a head coach uh, for the Woodlands Valley Dome. That year, I think according to all the budget and everything we did quite well. The end of the season, because of the certain financial problems, I have to separate from the Woodlands Wellington. Uh, after that, I get another offer from the Singapore, from Haugang United. Uh, so I would like to thank the Haugang United to give me another opportunity to come back in Singapore League. So far, we are doing quite well, so we can do even better. I think we started the season very well in the few, uh, first few matches. Uh, after that, I have to admit that so far in, this, in the second, second actually part of the first round, we haven't did well. We, we lost a couple of matches in a row, uh, but the team spirit and our performance on the field was quite well. So that's why in a certain way I was, I was very sad. I, I pity my players because I know they work very hard and end of the day, they, 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 they're not able to manage to collect some points. So, but we stood positive, and especially after we play in the uh, Singapore Cup first first round, we managed to to, to went through in the quarter final. So that was a good uh, moral boost for us, and that's why I think this is the good best reason why we are looking forward for the second round. As I said, we have to continue. I work hard and I can tell you that my players and uh, the whole club is very positive and very motivated for the second round. So we are looking forward for the second round. Football is a passionate game. Football is a life as well for me. I think for them as well should be. So if they have a dream, they have to follow their dreams. My First words when I came, when I joined to Haugang, I was telling to my players that I'm not a coach, I'm not a person who likes to work with the players or the young people, those who are without ambitions. So I wanted, I was requesting from them to be ambitious in, the, in that way. That's mean I want them to improve in the old ways. That's mean to improve as a personal, uh, as a person, the, to, to improve as a players and end of the day, we are sharing the same bread and butter, so we are working for the same thing. I want them to, 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 to know, to realize this is their work, this is their life, so they're working for their families. End of the day, the fans, which we are having from every game, we are having more and more fans. So because why they recognize this attitude in our team, and that's why I'm very happy with the players' attitude on, on, on the field. Singapore soccer got the quality and these players, my players especially, they are able to play even for the, for the biggest club in Singapore.